before I came here, uh, I thought Indiana is a cornfield state, it's a farming state. The challenge that we've often had is as we interview candidates to try to convince them to come to Indiana. It surprised me here when I initially come here, the Indianapolis is big metropolitan cities. It's as big as any city in the US. I drive in the highway, I see where they've got a six lane, eight lane, even 10 lane highways. You find many of the same great restaurants, the sporting venues, the theater, the music, uh, without the crowds. If you're coming from a big city, you're not going to lose the things that you're used to and that you like, but you're going to gain in ease and comfort. I've lived in Orlando, Florida, uh, Madison, Wisconsin, Houston, Texas, uh, Dallas, Texas, and here in Indianapolis, um, Indianapolis area. Um, and all in all, it's, it's pretty much the nicest place I've been. I think the whole state in general is under appreciate it. I initially had my doubts about coming to Indianapolis. Um, I'm from Chicago, I've always been in big cities, but the things that my wife and I looked for we found here, it took just basically one visit and we were convinced that you know, this was the place to come. There's so much to see and do here in central Indiana. It's just a great place to live and work. Well, housing prices, everybody's always shocked when they come here. It's like so reasonable compared to the rest of the United States that, you know, for example, when I moved from Washington, D.C., I, you know, got a house on twice as much land that was, you know, twice as big for half the price. You know, it's sort of, you're, you can't believe your fortune in terms of what you're able to get. We got a tremendously more house for our dollar. We sold our house for more than we bought our house for here, and we got more space here. We were able to get a bunch of nicer house for the money than we could have anywhere else. We got here, and it was just... Basically, take your pick. It was hard to make a decision.